السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه ومن اتبع هداه إلى يوم الدين ما بعد my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers our topic for today is about the riya or showing off which is indeed is a form of shirk may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from all types of shirk amin a muslim should single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with respect with his deeds Allah who created us he wanted us to worship him alone and to do the deeds only for him without associating any partner with him the moment you associate anyone with Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to accept that deed from you at all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the hadith Qudsi, which is the holy or sacred hadith, the meaning of sacred hadith, that is when the Prophet sallallahu would say, Allah says, Allah says this, because scholars classified the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu into two categories, the sayings of the Prophet sallallahu himself, which means that all the wordings are his, and including the meaning itself, whereas the Hadith Qudsi, the sacred hadith, the meaning is from Allah and the words from the Prophet Sallallahu So in a sacred hadith, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, whoever associates any partner with me, whoever associates any partner with me, or while offering or doing a good deed, he associated a partner with me, then I will leave that act deed for the partner whom he associated with me. So we have to work hard, my dear brothers and sisters, and make the our niya purely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala otherwise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept our deeds as it is known to many of you that the hadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that Allah looks into your hearts and your deeds so Allah looks to this heart what is there in that heart so this disease which is called riya or showing off is actually Arabic word the word riya is an Arabic word and it is derived from the root ra'a a ru'ya which means seeing which means here that the person the person who is doing this particular righteous deed is not doing it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all he is doing it so that for the people to see him so they can praise him and say, MashaAllah, he is a pious person, he is a righteous person, etc. But in reality, he is not. In reality, he is not. That's why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in the hadith in Sahih Muslim, a man will be thrown into the hellfire and his intestines will be wrapped around his body. And the people in the hellfire will be surprised because this man in the dunya, he was a preacher. He was preaching them, telling them, fear God Almighty, don't do this, don't do that. And yet, now he is with them in the hellfire. So they will approach him and ask him, what happened? You were telling us in the dunya, in the, this worldly life, when we were in the dunya, to worship Allah, do good deeds, and now you are with us? He said, yes. I used to tell you to do good deeds, but I never did any of them. So I was pretending to be a pious person, to be a righteous person. And Allah knew about it. So that's why I am with you. In another narration, the Prophet ﷺ, he said that the first three groups or batches that will be thrown into the hellfire, guess what? The first one will be a scholar, a group of scholars, ulama that they were not practicing what they were preaching. The second, martyrs, people who died, they lost their life, but they didn't do that for the cause of Allah, but they did it for showing off. And the third, people who were spending money, building hospitals, orphanages, helping the needy, the poor, newspapers are writing about them, he gave this number amount of money for this organization or that organization, for charity organizations. 
but not for Allah. Not for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are the three, first three batches, first three groups that they will be cast, will be thrown into the hellfire. So the first three batches that will be thrown into the hellfire is this, the scholars who were not practicing what they were preaching and the people who were spending for the, and doing charitable works, but not purely for the sake of Allah. And then the martyrs who died, but not for the sake of Allah. They died so the people might write about them, they are heroes, etc. So the motivation, the motive behind all these things is not the pleasure of Allah, not to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be very careful. If we really want the Jannah, we have to do things purely and exclusively for Allah and Allah only. The person who shows off is called Murai, Murai, and I will be using this word, so at least you will learn one Arabic word. So the person who shows off is called Murai, is called Murai. So the Murai is always wants his share, and this reflects his lack of understanding, and this shows also his insanity. A person who does things, he should do it for something better for him. So he will get the reward in the second life. When he meets Allah Azza wa Jal, when he meets his Lord in the second life, so he will be rewarded for these good deeds which he did in this life. But the one who shows off is always wants the share, the reward of his or her in this world, in this dunya, not in the second life. Also, the one who shows off the murai sometimes does some good deeds, but not exclusively for Allah. He might do sometimes good deeds, but still not purely for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. That's why the scholars, they say the riya or showing off is just like a mask. You're wearing a mask covering your reality. People when they see you, mashallah, mashallah, pious, he's a saint saint but when he is alone he's the devil he's the devil but when he is in front of the people people are seeing him he pretends to be humble a saint person but reality is something else he is just like a person wearing a mask so he is two persons in one there is a duality and the riya or showing off my dear brothers and sisters may allah save all of us is very subtle sometimes you don't feel it and you think you are doing it for the sake of Allah you think you are doing this purely to please God Almighty but it is so subtle it creeps into your heart so that's why we need to work hard to feel this riya and try to get rid of it Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he described and he gave us a parable or a similitude. He likened the showing of all the riya. He said, like a little ant. Imagine the ant walking and moving in a smooth surface, on a smooth rock at night. How can you see the ant or how can you detect or feel the movement of that ant? So that means. The riyah is so subtle